Some engines didn't just make power, they changed how power was understood. The Chrysler 241 Hemi wasn't just another V8, it introduced a completely different way of thinking about combustion and power. Before engines like this, performance gains were often about displacement alone. The Hemi showed that cylinder head design could dramatically change efficiency and output. Its hemispherical combustion chambers allowed better airflow and more complete combustion. This made the engine feel stronger and more responsive than many competitors of similar size. The 241 Hemi didn't just make power, it made power smarter. It laid the foundation for an engine design philosophy that would dominate performance engineering for decades. It proved that smarter combustion could unlock performance without increasing engine size. Engineers quickly realized that airflow and chamber design could outperform brute force alone. This idea would influence performance engines for generations. The Ford 265 flathead didn't redefine power through advanced design, it redefined power through accessibility. This engine brought V8 performance to everyday drivers at a time when most people had never experienced it. It wasn't the most efficient or technically advanced engine, but it was affordable and widely available. That accessibility changed everything. For the first time, performance wasn't limited to wealthy buyers, race teams or luxury cars. The flathead became the heart of early hot rodding culture. People modified it, raced it and experimented with it in garages across the country. Its simple design made it easy to work on and easy to push beyond factory limits. This hands-on experimentation helped shape an entire generation of performance enthusiasts. The Ford 265 flathead changed power by putting it into the hands of the public. It encouraged creativity rather than perfection. People learned performance by building, braking and improving these engines themselves. That mindset became the foundation of American performance culture. The Chevrolet 348 Tri-Power changed how power looked and felt. It wasn't just about performance, it was about image. Multiple carburetors became a symbol of dominance on the street. Opening the hood told a story before the engine even started. The Tri-Power setup delivered strong throttle response and visual impact. It represented confidence, excess and the growing muscle car identity. This engine helped shift performance from racing into everyday street culture. Power was no longer hidden, it was something to be shown off. The Chevrolet 348 Tri-Power turned performance into a visual statement. It showed that power could be seen as much as it could be felt. The Pontiac Ram Air V represented how far American performance could be pushed. It wasn't designed to be subtle or practical. This engine focused on airflow, high RPM power and racing potential. It showed what was possible when engineers ignored comfort, cost and everyday usability. Its design pushed Pontiac toward a more competition-focused direction. Engineers prioritized breathing and top-end power over street manners. However, timing worked against it. Regulations and changing priorities limited its production and development. That limitation turned the Ram Air V into a legend. It became a symbol of unrealized potential and what American muscle might have become. The Ram Air V didn't just change power, it changed how people think about what could have been. It was produced in extremely limited numbers. These engines weren't just strong for their time, they changed the direction of performance history.